Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser and this is The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus again. Uh, I wasn't actually originally intending to do a uh, another Binding of Isaac video, um, but I rather unexpectedly got a, uh, a load of work being thrown at me from my place of employment. Uh, which, in case you're wondering, is a theme park, but I probably shouldn't tell you the name of it for fairly obvious reasons. So let's just call it Not Disney, which is probably an accurate description of it as anything. Um, so what I originally had planned to put together for today, all of a sudden I didn't have time to do, so I'm going to have to uh, have to improvise a bit, just pick a game I can pick up easily, have, have a quick play, and hopefully make an entertaining video. Um... Now, because of the uh, increased working hours, ow, that I thought I'd out of the way of that, never mind. Uh, because of the increased working hours, I have also had to move the uh, time I release these videos from their original time of about six o'clock to uh, avoid the spiders, avoid the spiders, to eight o'clock. And even that, there's a very good chance I will not be able to <laughs> actually uh, achieve. But we will see. God damn it. So I decided to pick a challenge for basically no reason, except that I haven't done one on the channel before, as far as I recall. I picked Suicide King basically at random, and I hate it. I hate it. It's awful. Why is this a thing? To the voice of my headphone down a bit, because it's loud. Okie dokie. Oh, a secret passage. But first, let's find out what this, uh, this card is, shall we? They're not card. Pill and that card. There we are. Let me find all of that. will take me to the hidden room, but first, let's pop down here. And my headphones have slipped off. <laughs> Oops. Ooh. More than just a hidden room, Mr. Black Market, I think. Hello. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah. So this thing, when you activate it, will basically destroy. Whenever you first enter a room, it'll destroy everything in there, which is always fun. What do you do? You are. Ah, oh, damn, no, don't teleport me here. No! Ah, oh, man, all those things I didn't get a chance to look at because I got teleported to Iron Error. I mean, there's a great room to be in, but it's a bloody pain if you want to explore other things. Because the only way to get out of the Iron Error room is uh, to go down the, the trap door, I believe. I don't even have enough keys to open all the tre chests, damn it. So what does this, this thing do? Give me a card. Great. Hang on, what about the card I have? Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Immediately forgot. I transferred, changed the card, the card I had, the telepills. Telepills brought me here. Okay, so I don't even get to fight the boss. I've just got to go straight down and miss out on whatever item I could have got from all of that. Okay, on the plus side, if I now use this big old bomb friend, now whenever I go into a room, everything explodes. I've got an emergency contacts and all the tower. Let's go with emergency contact for now, since everything's going to explode when I enter a room anyway. Bang. Okay, and that gives us the secret room. Ah. This is why I hate Suicide King. I don't know why I picked it. But you just get these. So, in case you haven't picked up on how this this one works. When I fire a tear, it goes up at an angle and comes back down towards me, so I have to move away. And then when it lands, it explodes, which makes it a nightmare hitting anything, except yourself. Come on, something explode. So if you get away too late, then obviously it's going to hit you with the explosion. Oh, poop on. That's pretty useful. Useful for the shop. But if you leave too early, you miss the thing you're aiming for. The timing is so precise, it is unreasonable. Look at how. Or you can just shoot it point blank and take the hit, but it's still a pain. No, nope. not what I was expecting. Um, uh, I do want that, but I'm going to have to wait for it because. I've already got two hearts, so I want to collect that before I go down the next level. As much as I want these bombs, 
I have 11 bombers at the moment, and I don't want to take the damage to get them because I don't have the health for it. So let's just move on somewhere else. Everything's exploded, everything's dead. Wealth of wealth is always useful. Whenever I get a coin, there's a good chance it will give me more than one. I don't know where the big bad boss is. Uh, spiders. Okie dokie, so I have four buttons to pick from. And a good chance these buttons will be annoying. Yep, see? Now it's worth mentioning the um, bomb item I used will only work when I first enter a room for the first time. So, uh, if I had accidentally summoned a monster in this room... Okay, let's say I came into this room, didn't see the buttons, left this room, came back in, the bomb would still have counted as going off, so summoning the monsters uh, doesn't do me much in the way of favours. I don't have any keys, so I can't go in there. That's a pain. Be on with it, okay. This is one of those levels where something like Pyromaniac would completely break it, because even if you got hurt, you could just shoot yourself, effectively. And, uh... What do we got here, then? Luck down. 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 Infested. This is not a, a great run so far. I was hoping I'd get a, uh, a key somewhere so I could get into this place. I can't fly, so I can't get these two buttons. Uh, oh, we haven't actually explored everywhere yet, so let's keep looking. Maybe this place will warrant me a key. No, it just summons spiders. There we go. Get that bit of health. Now we can go into the shop, use our coupon, which means we get a free thing. Okay, um, let's... I've got to be careful in here because uh, this, this machine over here explodes. It does reset. It changes everything in the room. Now... I want a key for cheap. I want a heart. I'll save off the bomb for now. If I did this, ow, that didn't mean to hurt as much. <laughs> hurt me like it did. Okay, let's see. Let's get the heart. And we will see what we get with the coupon. I'm hoping it's this jar here. It was not, it was a heart. That's useless. Useless, useless, useless. Okie dokie. Oops, didn't mean to get the key, but whatever. We got it. So now if I collect uh, excess hearts, it's stored in that jar, I believe, and then I can then open the jar to uh, get all those hearts, I think. I've not really used it before, so we'll find out. There's always spiders. You know what? I'll just leave. Don't need to worry about them. There we are. So anywhere else? No, I said I want to go to that other room last. Oops, this was not the direction I wanted to go. Do, 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 do. Let's see, who are we fighting? Larry Jr. And they're dead. Except for that bloody spider. Okay. So I've got one of these. If I get the... Oh, I should have waited till I uh, done the devil deal. Never mind. Let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, it's alright. I can look at this. Um, I don't know what that kind of that is. Well, I got it. Cursed eye shot. Which means I'm now going to fire lots of explosions. tan fastic. Problem with cursed eye shot is that A, as I've said, it fires a bunch of explosions at me. Uh, normally it's a really useful one to have. Unfortunately, that is not necessarily the case now. I can get these by doing this. Ooh, maybe. Let's do that a few more times. If I don't charge it fully, then uh, yeah, free bombs. It's maybe a colossal waste of time. And it followed me, damn it. But it never hurts to have extra bombs. Well, unless you use them on yourself, like I love and keep doing. Because at least the bombs are a fairly reliable way of causing some damage. So if I uh, know the certain enemies, for example, that eat bombs, which is useful. So, um, what's his name? Chubb? A any of the worm-like um, 
enemies that crawl around the floor rather than dig underneath it. They are very helpful for... They'll yell at you and charge and you can just drop a bomb and they swallow it because they're stupid. And it gives you a beautiful look of panic on their face as they sort of realise what they've done and what's about to happen. Ah, very satisfying. Hopefully we'll come across one I can show you. I mean, I'm more likely to die before that happens, but then again, one might pop up from here. Um, I'm not going to do this right now. I'll save my keys for the shop. Okay. All of you go away. And explode. The problem with the cursed eye shot is that uh, if I take damage, there's a good chance it'll teleport me out of the room as well. There we go. Okay. Need to put these fires out because they shoot back. See? Damn it. There we go. Put them out. Good. And stupid summoning. Go away, all of you. Heal me. Heal me. Damn it. I healed myself and took damage at the same time. Great. I hate Suicide King, I hate Suicide King, I hate Suicide King. Oh, got lucky with that last shot though. What have we got? Key, heart, lovely. Uh, not gonna go into there. God damn it, more of these blooming things. Die, there you go. And... Damn it. Well, the plus item is getting enough hearts that uh, I can tank some of this damage. And I believe this character is... Lazarus, meaning that when I die, I'll at least wake up again. There we go. Ah! Trapped between my own exploding tears and the troll bomb. Great. And this thing again. Ow. There we go. Got it. But now I'm down to basically no health. I've only got one coin, so let's hold from that for the moment. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Explode and die. That was not how I wanted you to explode and die. Okay. So, if I get 15 coins, I can switch for the jar of flies. I do like the jar of flies, but I'm not likely to get that many coins. So, let's see. Go away. Go away. Ow. God damn it. At least I get up again. Summoned so many of those damn things, I couldn't fight. What? Oh, that was. It teleported me, and because it teleported me, it then fired my tears into a wall I couldn't have predicted was there, exploding and killing me. I hate Suicide King. Alright, let's try a different challenge just for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know. Da, 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 da. I rule. Why not? I don't know what that is. I rule. Okay, so I've got a key, a shield, oh, and a knife. Okay. What is that? And a boomerang. Oh, I get it. I rule. High rule is a Legend of Zelda reference. I don't know what the key's about, per se, but sword, shield, and boomerang are all... Zelda-y. Or oh, Linky, technically, since The Legend of Zelda mainly involves Link doing stuff and Zelda hoping that Link will do stuff for her. Yeah, Zelda doesn't really do much in her own game, so she typically she's just, oh, the, the big bad's here, you better do something about it for me, buddy. I mean, except for those um, Philips CDI games where you get to play as Zelda and she... What does she do in those? Well, basically there's whatever Link did in the first one. And there's one Legend of Zelda um, on the CDI game in which she does... It's very hard to explain what she does. If you haven't seen the, um, the Philip CDI Zelda games, I strongly recommend looking them up because they're equal parts hilarious and awful. Basically the room of... Uh, video games. The room, the movie, not the room, the play I'm doing in the other. Yeah, you know what I mean. Stab fatty, stab fatty, stab knife, 
that screamy thing. I need to know what these things' names actually are. Luckily, the knife is one of the most overpowered weapons in the game, so I'm probably going to be alright for a while on this. Analysis. Thanks, game. Give me stupid pills. Now, pills are one of those things you'll either get nothing but good pills, or you'll only get the bad pills. Yes, it's, it's very rare to get a, uh, a sort of 50 50 split. You either get nothing of use or everything of awful. Okay, so we've got a Magic the Gathering card. So, what's it going to be? Chaos? Where are you? Huge growth. Okay. Huge growth makes me a big old boy. I can stamp on things. But it does stop as soon as I leave the room. So, I have to destroy everything. Kill whatever pops out of these. Sometimes there's uh, coins or whatever in the jars. And sometimes there's spiders! Like that time. Thing. And now I've emptied the room of anything of use. We can go down the steps and see what we get. Or well, down the ladder, rather. See what we get. And we have a trinket. Mom's locket, feel her love. Um, now, I think this trinket means that half heart items will be spawned as full hearts instead, or something like that. Yeah, it's one of those things where there's basically no way of knowing what it does unless you look up what it does, which is one of the. Uh, as I said, one of the things about Isaac I'm not a fan of. The descriptions are so intentionally vague that there's basically no way of figuring out what it's supposed to mean. Because I mean, yeah, so on the map it was a half heart, here it's a full heart. So it is possible to figure it out, but. Ah, damn it. Okie dokie, we. Let's blow this one up first. Visible tear burst. I do like this. And oh, yeah, so teleport. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Let's get the uh, the tail. You got to be careful with um, the um, the guppy items that you don't get um, the collar. I think it's the collar. No, the cat's body. That's the one. Um, when you've got a lot of hearts, because it takes you down to one heart and gives you nine lives. And if you get to the end game stuff and you die, and you're trying to do it all on a single heart, it's not going to happen. Um, okay. I no point getting brimstone, because I've got the knife. And that is damage up. I'm not sure if I need damage up with the knife. And I've only got a handful of hearts, so that's not. I'll take the usable tier burst, though, instead of the... Uh, Boomerang, because with the right combination of items, this reusable tear burst is overpowered as all buggery. Okie dokie, let's get that. So, lots of battery here, I'll show you what the reusable tear burst does. Throws knives everywhere, because my knives are currently a stabber. I've only got one coin, so there's no point going in there. God damn it, this curse of the labyrinth, whatever it is, or curse of the maze, really begins to annoy me. So if you've been paying attention to the map, you'll notice that the room I try and go into is not necessarily the room I end up in. Which is particularly annoying if I go through a room that hurts me. Right. Die. Die. No, I told you to die. Stop not dying. You have a single task in this world, and that task is to die when I tell you to. I am telling you to die. And... Dead. Yeah, yeah. Four bandages. Never hurts. Down we go. I'm not going to go for a full run of this because we're already at the 20 minute mark. So let's just have some fun with it, shall we? All of them die. Ow. Fires. That's right, you can stab fires out of existence now. This game continues to make as much sense as it feels like making. Go and stab. 
I wonder if the reusable tear burst works on fires. No. Oh well. Stab that fire out, stab that fire out, stab that fire out. Now I can fire through the rocks somehow. Doesn't set the bombs off though, which is always useful. So the mechanics of this game are consistent, if not entirely logical sometimes. So can stab fires out of existence, can't make bombs explode by stabbing them. But I could stab TNT till it exploded. That somehow makes sense. Yeah, I should probably deal with the enemies before I start faffing around <laughs> with the uh, piles of poo. The fires, he says, immediately shooting the pile of poo in a fire. Yeah, well. Die. Die. Can't get that bomb without using a bomb, ironically. Yeah, stab that poo, stab that poo. We'll stab that fire while we're here. Uh, eh, what the hell. You never know where a. Uh... Oh, I think that's the other op thing the. Um... The trinket does that I get a bit of help every time I open a golden chest. I forgot about that side of it. I was halfway through a sentence as well. I've completely lost track of whatever it was. Hmm. What was it? Oh well. I've noticed how much I do that when I uh, watch back the recordings, where I'll completely lose track of whatever train of thought I was on, and either end up on starting on one conversation and ending on another. Just because that's how my brain decides to work sometimes. Um, or starting a sentence, getting distracted by something on screen and never coming back to finish it. So I apologise for that particular uh, habit of mine. But I mean, so far, no one's called me out on it on the comments, so I'll take that for what it's worth. And I can get ahead of the, the, uh, the complaints. And key... Key and chest. Chest full of bombs. Plenty of bombs now, we can put them to good use. But first, let's stab poos. Just think about the knife as it does contact damage, so even if it's, I don't fire it, it'll just shoot, stab in whatever direction it's pointing. Right, where should we go? This way. Let's go in here. Which means these enemies can just basically walk themselves to death if you look in the right direction. See, didn't you just fire a single tear there? Or shoot the knife once. These guys, those are going to walk into themselves to death. Damn it, <laughs> I didn't mean to walk into them. Things for the golden chest, they're usually worth opening because most of the time they at least have a key in them. But uh, so far all the ones I've tried to open haven't. Uh, looking. Okay, we've got some more rooms to explore. Let's explore them rooms. Because that is how the game works. Do, 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 do. I kind of wish the eyes had a sprint function every now and then. Let's see, I'm going to guess there's a secret room here. There is not a secret room there, damn it. And there could be a secret room here, though. Not here, here specifically. Which, if there is. No, there isn't. Because really, if there was, I could have got into the, uh, the shop on the other side without having to use a key I don't have. So I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but there are very specific rules as to where secret rooms could be. Um, a secret room has to have... Um... So, okay, if I go in here I'll explain. We go. So if you look on the map, the secret room will always have at least two rooms connected to it. Usually three. Uh, sometimes even four, but so, uh, for the most part, you're looking for a gap of two or three. Um, a super secret room will not be adjacent to anything other than the one room it is. So, if I put a bomb here, I can get into the, uh, the room with the stabby door without having to get myself stabbed by the door. And in exchange, I can get myself this item, damager, always useful. And I don't need to go through stabby door, because I can go through hole in wall. Uh, yeah, sure, let's blow this guy up. Why not? Because it wastes a bomb, that's why not. But, whatever, we're here anyway. You can die. And you can die. 
And you can die. Yeah, yeah. Give me a key. Those are not keys, those are bombs. But I understand the confusion. Right, so let's head down to, as far as I can tell, the last room to explore. And it's full of these hoppy little buggers. These guys aren't uh, particularly dangerous, they're just kind of annoying. And down. God damn it, another golden chest I can't get into because I have a key. Right, well. Let's, uh. Move on up, I guess. Go give our boss friend a stabbing. Well, the coin up there I haven't been able to get. I could go to bombs to get it, but I don't really need to. So. Monstro! Oh, two monstros. Well, one's dead. And now they're both dead. This knife is overpowered as all hell. Okie dokie, HP and lock up. Neat. Into the void. Just realised I brought myself a drink up from downstairs. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> it's a can of fizzy drink. So, this recording's basically over, so we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. What have we got? Phil, what do you do? Nothing useful. Just make my charging with the knife slower. Which isn't the end of the world. I keep forgetting I've got uh, this. Of course, with the uh, <laughs> knife tears, doesn't always hit. Which was a bit of a pity, because that would have been a nice way to have finished the room off in one fell swoop. The one that this... Uh... Oh, chest within a chest. So on this uh, tear burst really works well with is uh, brimstone, where you've got the laser, uh, the laser beam of blood or whatever it is, um, which means a character that it works really well with is um, what's his name, Azazel. Who I always want to call Azazel for some reason. Um, oh, when did I get a ladder? Oh, of course I would have started with a ladder because that's a Zelda item. Of course, that was silly of me not to. Well, it wasn't silly, but. Uh... Yeah, see, there's an example of me starting a sentence and not finishing it, but I don't even know what that sentence ending was supposed to be. Um... Die! Man, that beautiful tear burst just misses way more than it uh, hits. Why? What? I saw that knife go through you, like, twice, and it didn't even register damage. Cheaty game. Okie dokie, mini dokie, die. Wow, that was a uh, plethora of things in that chest. But I am perpetually low on keys because I keep opening the chests. Pride, I don't like you, go away. Here you go. Neat. What'd you drop? Death. Lay waste to all that oppose you. Oh, I'm putting me in. Not dealing with bomb flies. Oh, God, there's always one, isn't there? Stupid champion. Bomb fly. Yeah, so as I, was, as I was saying, I will finish a bloody sentence today. I uh, started defaulting to my. the room. whatever the guy's AS's name turns out to be, voice. Because I am the bestest of voice actors. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch the room video. That bomb may not have been close enough to work. Let's try that again. Nope, just wasted bombs. Great. Uh, but there might be one... No, there won't be one over there. So as I said, the secret rooms need to be uh, adjacent to um, multiple rooms. Uh, but they also, each of those rooms must be able to get into it. So for example, I can't reach... Well, I can reach with the ladder, but I can't naturally reach this wall over here, so there wouldn't be a secret room there. Ah, oh, damn it, so many bomb flies. Why are you a f So these flies are moving much faster than they should be doing. Die! Die! God damn it, be dead! There we go. Excuse me, should we try to use the explosions to, uh, 
get these things I can't reach. Oh, I want, I want, I want that. Oh, I can get that by putting it on there. There we go. I'm not going to get it right now, but I want to make sure that I can get it should the, well, should I make it to the end of the level. God damn it. It occurs to me, once again, I forgot I had the ladder, so I could have easily got to any of these from, oh, <laughs> from any direction. I almost went and got the part I didn't want to get till the end. Because if I, in case you haven't realised, if I collect two of these or I take one with me to the next level, it becomes a full heart. So in other words, if I get damaged and lose it before I've got to the end of the level, I've wasted it. Let's go all the way to the top where the other room I entered is. So yes, wherever possible you want to um, either not collect it until the last thing you do at the end of the level, or if you found there's a second one, to uh, go and collect both of them at once so you don't risk losing them at all. Why am I not getting any keys in this run? Or why am I getting, like, so many bombs in comparison to keys? Usually you can guess they're going to be roughly equal, but... Oh, nothing. Let's see if I can get the paperclip item. The uh, paperclip basically... Um, Means you can open gold chests without a key. I have a f There's a character that starts with it. I think it's Kane. We have to have um, like beaten breed mode with him or something. We have done so. That's why I know there's a character that has it. I just can't remember what you've got to do to unlock that. It is giving me all gold chests and absolutely no keys. Ah, I should have just. Uh, I forgot to use my shield properly. Be dead. I'm gonna die. Yeah, well, as I said, I wasn't trying to. Oh, there we go. I'm dead. And of course, that time I get the bloody key. Ah, uh, well, well. Here we go. That was a bit of fun playing through Isaac. So, yes. Uh, just quickly recap again, in case you forgot me saying. Videos are gonna move times from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m if I can manage it. I may find that that is not possible with the amount of hours uh, I have suddenly started working. If so, Twitter will be your first port of call to find out A, what game I'm going to be playing, or what videos rather is going to be released that day, and when it's going to be released. So, uh, is there anything else I need to say? Oh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. There you go, at Kaiser. I'll probably put that at the beginning as well, because it needs putting somewhere. Okay, hello. Bye.